Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, it's been 14 days since we applied Formic Pro to all the hives in my apiary. So today we're going to take those strips out of the hives. I'd like for you to see what the strips look like after 14 days. They should be kind of dried up and hard. And also I'm going to take a mite check. I'm gonna use my easy check here and I will be using alcohol for the wash solution. I haven't tried the Dawn dishwashing liquid yet, but I will in the near future. I'll get a gallon of that mixed up and try that also. So let's go ahead and get in our hives and remove the Formic Pro strips. Well, everyone, the first thing we want to do is take out the sheet of Coraplast that we used to close up the screen bottom board while we applied the Formic Pro strips. Our weather while the strips were on was in the high 70s and maybe up to like 80 degrees with low humidity. Uh, now the weather is starting to change. It's going back up into the 90s with high humidity. So we're going to go ahead and remove the chlor board maybe examine it to see if we see any mites drops and then we will go ahead and remove our strips all right let's get into the hive and remove our formic pro strips Well, we got plenty of bee population. And the top supers are full of honey like what was the last time. And the queen has laid some eggs up here. And some larvae. So that's a good sign. If we happen to spot the queen, I'm going to go ahead and use a queen clip and isolate her so we can do a mite check on this hive. There's a piece of paper there. All right, let's go ahead and take this honey super off. And that is very heavy. All right, here are the two pads that we put on. They are pretty hard, dried up for sure. They have no smell left as far as the fumix a little bit maybe slightly let me go ahead and bring them over here closer to you so you can see and here they are they're pretty much hard and not flimsy like they were originally and soft so that's what they are. We'll go ahead and put them in a trash bag and to dispose of them properly. Well, I'm going through the hive and we have larvae, we have cat brood, and we have eggs. So that's all good signs that we have a viable queen after the treatment. I will go ahead and continue to look for the queen. I would like to isolate her to make sure that we don't wash her in an alcohol wash. Now is not the time to be wanting to have a queen since there's not really any available at this time. Well, everyone, I haven't been able to find the queen and I don't want to create a robbing frenzy, so I'm going to go ahead and cl uh, close this hive back up and revisit it on another day. We will probably be putting in Aprivar 
as our next treatment at a later date. So let's put the Honey Super back on. All right, we've got the Aprovar, or correction, the uh, Formic Pro strips off, and we've closed the hive up. We've also seen three stages of brood, so we know we have a queen. So this hive is good to go into winter. We will be treating uh, later dates, like I said, with possibly Aprovar and oxalic acid through the winter months. All right, we're here on our second hive that we're gonna get into. The first thing, like I said, we're gonna do is pull out the Coroplast board, open up the screen bottom board. And here it is. I see a lot of pollen. And uh, don't really see a whole lot of mites at all, really. Uh, no evidence really at all. Uh, there's a few ants on the board, of course, trying to rob some of the pollen out. Uh, there's maybe three or four mites that I can see right off the top of my head. So let's get into this hive. Open it up. They've got her glued down well. Another honey super on top. I did have some comments that wanted to know what kind of honey it was, whether it was that spotter and lanternfly honey, and I will take a sample this afternoon and see what it does taste like. So, well, the pads were on that tops and they must be on the bottom here yep there they are hiding and here they are and they're kind of like hard cardboard now they have no smell whatsoever they've completely dried up so we'll dispose of them and close the hive back up for now. Keep any robbing down. I wanna go ahead and check the brood here, see if we can find evidence of all three stages of brood. Hopefully maybe we'll spot a queen. I've got cat brood, I've got larvae. And I do have eggs. So I have all three stages of brood in this hive. The queen is doing very nice. Go ahead and bring it over to you. There's a nice piece of uh, carpet brood there. And on this side, I probably, you won't be able to see it, but right in here is some nice four or five day old larvae. And in the top part here is some eggs. So, uh, that's a really good sign. Go ahead and check another frame while we're at it. Same thing here. We have eggs and larvae. Here's some cat brood on this side along with larvae and eggs. I don't happen to see the queen, but that's okay uh, we know we have a viable queen and that's always important at this time of year 
I know some people were concerned about that, whether this treatment has had a history of killing queens or the bees will abscond when you put this treatment on. But that's what I said in my last video when we applied this treatment, that I believe that humidity has a major part in this uh, treatment and I believe that you should be at, at 80 degrees or slightly less when you do apply it and make sure that you have a at least a five day window at low humidity and low temperature. Something I forgot to tell you last time is that the first three to four days are the most critical time when applying this product. It has to be in the low heat parameters, 80 degrees or slightly less, and low humidity. Now, after five or six days, the potency of this product diminishes and it's not as detrimental to your hive. So if you put it on in the right parameters in the beginning, and then of course the weatherman changes his tune about the temperatures, uh, I wouldn't worry as much if it's five days later when that 85 to 90 degree weather starts to come in because the potency level is, has diminished of these things. So let's go ahead and close this hive back up and we will revisit it another day. And there was a lot of weight in that top box, so there's plenty of nectar and honey in here. Yep, there's a frame just full of nectar. It isn't capped. To be quite honest with you, I don't think it ever really will get capped. I've heard that uh, the spotter lanternfly uh, do honey has a high moisture content. Oop, we got our inner cover. So, we will come back, like I say, and taste it and see what it tastes like. All right, we're here in the nuke yard. I wanna go ahead and remove the Formic Pro strips out of the hives. And I'm going to leave the inner cover on just to keep the bees as calm as possible. Now here's the strip here. Let me go ahead and bring you up a little bit closer. All right, here's the strip in top of this five frame nuke. Now you can see the orientation. The strip is not going across the frames, but going with the frames. And it is over top of the brood area in this hive. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it at this time. There's the strip. It's hard and kind of like cardboard now. I want to go ahead and get in here and check, see whether we have any brood. And yes, we do. We have a beautiful patch of cat brood. We have four to five day old larvae. And we do have some eggs out on the outer perimeter. Here's another area here same situation cat brood four to five day old larvae with eggs and i don't see the queen here at this point in time but uh, we definitely know that we do have a viable queen i'm gonna go ahead and check one more frame just for curiosity Here, this frame doesn't have any cat brood, but I can see this whole area here is full of eggs. So we definitely have a queen. And uh, this side is the same thing. We have some 
young larvae and some eggs so we've got a nice viable queen we can go ahead and close this hive up and we're done well everyone I'm going to go ahead and remove the rest of the Formic Pro pads out of the nukes and so until next time please like subscribe click the notification bell share my videos with your friends and have fun with your bees